Hello guys, in this video we are going to be looking at how to enable virtualization VTX in Windows 10 BIOS. So when you install a virtual machine on your system, it is possible that the machine may not start and may you may encounter an error telling you that VTX is disabled. So let's first check if virtualization is enabled on our system or not. So for that, what we have to do is open command prompt and type in system info.exe. So this means uh, this uh, setting means that the hardware acceleration settings required by the CPU to support virtualization are currently disabled in our BIOS. And uh, as you can see in the end, it says Hyper-V requirements virtualization enabled on firmware. No, so it should either be yes or it should say that virtualization hyper virtualization is in use. System information cannot be displayed. So for that, we have to go into our BIOS and enable it. So let's just go into our settings, update and security, recovery, advanced startup. So we have to restart. If we click this, our system will restart into our BIOS settings and we will be able to change it. So now that we are in our BIOS, we will be clicking troubleshoot, advanced options, and then going into UI, UEF5 firmware setting. This will take us to our BIOS menu. So I have an HP Elite book here and your system might differ depending upon your uh, make model and variant. So here you can see that it says F10 for BIOS setup. So I'm going to press F10. So you will have to, I'm in the main tab now. I'm going to security, advanced. And here I will pick up device configurations. You might have to find your um, own settings depending upon your model uh, but usually it's in system configuration or device configurations so look for the word configuration so here you can see I'll scroll down by pressing the down and yes here you can see virtualization technology VTX it is unchecked so in your case it might uh, tell you to press a key to change it or press enter so in my case I have the mouse so I'm going to check it and I'm going to move my key down here and click on save it will ask me for confirmation I will say yes and then I will exit the settings and save my changes yes and now my system will restart so now that we have enabled virtualization let's go into our command prompt and check if our settings have changed or not let's type in system info.exe and it will load all the information about our professor uh, our cpu processor and here you can see that it says hyper virtualization hypervisor has been detected and it will not be displayed so now if you go into your virtual machine and start it hopefully the error will be resolved and in some other cases it might uh, display the information and say yes so uh, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you found it helpful uh, thank you